The way they sent messages and received messages in World War II was in a code form. But that's obvious. At war, you can't really say what you're gonna do. But spies, different systems, and mistakes made by the soldiers would cause a lot of operations to get messed up because of it. But the Germans were the best at this, and that was because of the Enigma machine. At first, it looks like a typewriter, but this small machine was one of the biggest enemies to the Allies, and the Enigma machine allows Germans to win a lot of battles. The way the machine works is that someone gets a code, and they use the machine to enter it, and the machine would turn the code into a message. The Enigma machine had the combination of having 159 quintillion different outcomes. The Germans would believe nobody could break the Enigma code. And the simple meaning of that is, nobody could get our messages. And that is why any useful information the Germans wanted to pass around, they would use the Enigma machine. It's good to know that the Enigma machine was designed after World War I by the Germans. At first, it was much simpler than it was after. And that is why in the 1930s, the Germans made the machine more complicated and better. Either way, World War II starts, and with the help of this machine, the Germans get a lot of land in Europe. You could say the Enigma machine was more effective than a lot of different weapons. While all of this is happening, the Allies are looking for a way to break the Enigma code and read the messages. You guys should know Alan Turing, a very famous mathematician that we talked about a lot. And also a lot of people believe that the first computer design was by Alan Turing. In the year 1939, when England declared war on Germany, the British government hired Alan Turing to figure out the Enigma machine. You could say he tried to figure it out, but he never got anywhere, and that is why he told them it's not possible. They asked him, what should we do? He says the only way we can crack it is to design a machine just like Enigma. He designed a machine and made it, and he named it Bomb. The machine he'd made was not hand-operated, and it was automatic. But the problem was, it wasn't one answer, it had multiple answer when it figured it out. And the reason was, it was automatic, so it had a few different answers. Either way, this was a life-saving machine for the Allies. In a way that you could say, it opened the eyes and ears of the Allies. And they slowly realized what actually is happening. The first time that Alan Turing's machine actually gave an answer, it was on April 1940. Even though it was an old code, it still got the answer. And the answer was the operation of a German U-boat for one week. The first time that his machine actually gave a proper answer for an attack was on May 1941. He figured out on what day exactly, in what place in the Atlantic Ocean, a German U-boat was gonna be at. And that allowed them to surround the U-boat. The machine gave such exact coordinates that they were able to surround the U-boat. And that allowed them to easily take over the U-boat as well. Getting this U-boat allowed the British Army to get an Enigma machine in their hands. And getting this machine allowed Alan Turing to make his machine bomb better. And that's when the Allies started to actually manufacture the bomb machine. So they can send it everywhere and all the Allies have access to it. And you could say until the end of the war, there was 155 bomb machines. This is a message that the Enigma machine has to solve. Whatever you do, you can't figure out what the hell it's talking about.
In the year 1942, the Germans realized that the Enigma is slacking, and that is why they added the fourth rotor to the machine. And that means if it was a three letter code, now it's four. This made Alan Turing's job a lot harder, and he was forced to change the machine. But Alan Turing had a different idea in mind. He said we don't need a new machine. He just said we could compare the old codes to the new codes. Because we have so many old codes that we can figure out what the new ones mean. This got to a point where the British Army could solve a Nazi code every two minutes. What Alan Turing was doing for the British Army was huge, and he worked for intelligence, and he had nothing to do with the actual army. And it was made in a way that the army didn't know how these codes were being solved. It was so top secret that nobody could figure out that Alan Turing and this is the way they're figuring it out. So the spies could not figure out what's happening. Either way, Alan Turing's project made allies win a lot of battles. Another useful thing the bomb machine did was to help the Allies destroy the Bismarck destroyer. Alan Turing modified the bomb machine in a way that until 1945 at the end of the war, every Nazi message was being detected and decoded. We could say Alan Turing is one of the most important persons that helped the Allies. And you could say he did a lot more than an army. The reason the British designed this machine for the Enigma was because of Poland. Before the Nazis invaded Poland, Poland sent a message to the British government that the Germans have a machine like this called the Enigma. And if the Polish didn't let them know, the British government wouldn't know what to do. Either way, the British government said that Alan Turing is a hero. But that's until 1952, and that's when the war is completely over. Around that year, Alan Turing was arrested with a few homosexuals, something that was extremely illegal back then. In those days, they would send homosexuals in a type of asylum so they could basically get cured because they believed that homosexuality was a choice and not genetic. And that's when Alan Turing committed suicide at the age of 41. And you could say not a lot of people were sad about it. And that's until 60 years later in the year 2012, the British government announced that we've made a mistake and we shouldn't have treated Alan Turing, a war hero like this. One man can't do a lot in a war, but he can design a machine and change the whole outcome of the war. 